Mark Lewis is one of Britain's top media lawyers, but he's here with us today, as you can see, with his partner, Mandy Blumenthal, to talk about his own personal journey as he embarks on a revolutionary stem cell trial for multiple sclerosis. It'll end in either a medical breakthrough and miraculous recovery or see his continued gradual decline. Well, this has all been filmed for a Channel 4 programme. Uh, before we speak to them, let's take a look at this short clip. One of the things that make him a very good solicitor is that he is used to not accepting the reality and trying to change the reality against the odds. The difference is that in this fight, the fight against MS, sometimes the disease wins. Look, give me your right hand. <laughs> he couldn't do that two hours ago. Three hours ago. Wow, well, the search for a miracle cure is on Channel 4 at 10 o'clock uh, tonight. Uh, thank you both very much for coming in to talk to us about this. Mark, when you came onto the set here, I shook your hand and you yeah. said that uh, before this treatment, you wouldn't have been able to do that. I mean, I mean the programme shows me using my right hand and doing that. I couldn't do that at all. It was the right hand had died. Um, I've interviewed you uh, on various different stories over the years. Um, I had no idea of what you were going through. Tell me a bit about when you were diagnosed. Well, I mean, I, I, I was formally diagnosed nearly 30 years ago, and it's a gradual progression of getting things worse. On the public life, I've tried to, you know, do my job and, you know, be very firm and, and fighting, etc., and not let it get in the way. But it's sort of been catching, it's been catching up and... Um, I've had to compensate by go, you know, getting home, just going to sleep, and, and the next time I wake up is for work, and then go to sleep again. Um, because MS causes a lot of fatigue and a lot of pressure. And tell me about this remarkable treatment. Well, well effectively, what, what they do is they take your own stem cell out, so they're not looking for a donor. Like they, in the past, they look for a bone marrow donor. They take it out, they clone it, um, a bit like Dolly the Sheep technology, and once they've, once they've done that, they repair it, and then they inject it, but they inject it into your spine. Incredibly painful, as, it, as will be shown tonight. Mm -hmm. it, it, the most painful thing I've ever had. So much so, much so that it took so long. I, I'd reached the point of saying, well, actually, I, I want to give up. I'd rather have MS than this injection because it's hurting so much. But afterwards, it was worth every bit of pain, and I would do it again and again. Well, as we saw in that clip, Mandy, you were out um, in Israel uh, as Mark was having the treatment, and you saw a change almost immediately. It was something that you couldn't believe that you were seeing, because it was so quick, and you didn't know what was going to happen. And it was so amazing, and it made everything so worthwhile, with travelling all the time, with you know, going out to the hospital, even though the staff from every level and all the people were so amazing to us in Israel. And it was such an amazing journey to go on. But when you actually saw the results so quickly as well, just the, you know, the increased mobility after two hours, you, you couldn't understand that that happened just so simply from an injection. And it's uh, a trial which is ongoing. Uh, for people watching, Mark, who perhaps are in the early stages of MS or have relatives who uh, have MS, uh, is the hope that one day this will be available for everyone? Not only people in the early stages, but people in the mid stages and the late stages. I think a cure for MS is five to ten years away. This really is making an amazing progress. It's, it's almost a repair kit. The, you know, we have stem cells in us, we throw most of them away when, with placentas when we're born, but that is the key to almost recharging you. It's not, there are some trials going on in other parts of the world with chemotherapy, which, you know, people have whatever trials they have, but this doesn't have anything bad for you. It's just your own body being injected, your own stem cells being injected into you, and, and um, I think it's going to, lead to the cure. Well, it's a remarkable story and uh, we wish you uh, all the very best uh, with your continuing journey and with your health. Thank you both, Mark and Manny, for coming in. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.